Coach Thomas holds a meeting with his coaching staff to discuss team goals and produce an organizational design. The purpose of this meeting is to identify any problem areas and create solutions through a detailed organization structure. I propose we move toward a more decentralized organization and let the players and subordinate coaches get involved in more decisions. I think that this team functions as a centralized organization, with all major decisions starting with me. All players should follow the unity of command by reporting directly to me. For now, Matt, our team captain, has a small area of free will, but the buck stops with me. I feel that allowing the players to have too much power will cause them to build a lack of respect. However, it is important that we coaches are interdependent so that we form a strong, cohesive approach. By using formalization, this team will possess clearly defined roles for both its coaches and players. What will our role in this line of authority be? Obviously, you will have some degree of freedom when running drills and teaching concepts to the players, and I will be delegating tasks to you. But when the major decisions are identified, I need to be notified and involved. How will we hold players accountable for their actions in the future? Hopefully the team members will see what happened to Peter and will be deterred, but we will also be implementing team meetings about substance abuse and motivational problems. This will help differentiate the team from other organizations around the league. In the past, we exclusively judged players on talent alone, but now our approach will focus on player values as well. I seem to recall a high level of uncertainty surrounding each player's conduct. This player evaluation plan should resolve that. I think we should be utilizing task differentiation among the players. The task would focus primarily on the field player activities and would encourage each position to perform to improve their skill set in a new way. That sounds acceptable. Go ahead and monitor the results over a two month period. Alright, I will craft an organization chart listing all the players and their specific skills, which will record improvements in throwing, tackling, and any other relevant activities. Good. This has been a productive meeting. I will see you at practice tomorrow.